Hello everyone, today we're gonna take a look at the AOSP Gingerbread 2.3.7 ROM. Yes, this is not 2.3.6 but 2.3.7. This ROM is developed by Space Caker from XDA Developers Forums. And for those of you who are not aware, AOSP means Android Open Source Project, which means that this ROM is a pure gingerbread ROM by Google which does not include a single Samsung or carrier boardware app. You should already have noticed that by the file size of the zip file. It's about roughly 60 and 67 megabytes for now. So as you can see, it's very light and the ROM is also very light. So before we begin with the installation and the video, I cannot really go into detail much about every specific feature, but I can tell you that the following features I claim to work just fine, which are hardware acceleration, camera, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So we're gonna have a look at these features in just a bit once we install the ROM. So the first thing as always is to power off the Galaxy Y. And then we're going to boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up. So once we feel the vibration, the phone has been turned off. Now hold the buttons. And there you have it. The phone will now boot into recovery mode. Now after this, we're gonna boot into Cocor Mode Recovery. If you do not have it, you can download the zip file from the link in the video description. Once you download your SD card, select it from here to boot into it. Now once you're in recovery mode, the first thing would be to go to mounts and storage and just make sure that data, system and cache are all mounted. Once they are all mounted, you can just mount SD card as well if it's, if it's not. Anyways, mount all of these, now go back and choose install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card. Now locate the kernel zip file, it is, it is named sanuj mode number 2 zip, this is the file. Select it and choose yes to install. So after flashing the kernel, I would highly recommend that to take off the phone's battery, put it back on and again hold the three button combinations to boot into recovery mode and then you'll be in this recovery. Now as you can see, the letters here are quite smaller so this is a totally different recovery here which we are using now. Anyways, once you're in this recovery, what you need to do after this is head into mounts and storage and from here we are gonna format data choose yes then you're gonna format system choose yes once again and finally format cache you do not need to format your SD card in this now once you have done all of this you need to mount these so mount data mount system and mount cache you can also mount SD card if you like now after you are done go back by pressing the back button or the power button once you're back, you can finally install the ROM. Just choose install it from SD card. Choose it from SD card. And from here, you can choose the tutorial OTA ENG, which is the ROM zip file. Choose that and choose yes, install. This usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds. Once it is done, press the back button, go to simply choose wipe data from here. That's how you have to do wipe data. And finally, we can choose the boot system now and the phone will boot up. So there actually was no boot animation, nothing special, I mean we got the Android splash screen and that was all. Then I got directed to this Android guy here, basically the setup screen. Anyways, um, choose your language, tap on the Android guy, basically the same old setup screen here. Just choose which options you like and which ones you don't. Once everything is set up, this is our home screen. As you can see, this is the default gingerbread launcher nothing touch with and as you can see the ROM is very clean pure gingerbread basically all we have here is the basic Google applications nothing from Samsung nothing from your specific carrier just a bunch of 
pure Android apps. So let us start off with doing a few tests. So first of all, let us try if this ROM is able to detect my APN settings, if I'm able to use my mobile data. So I'm gonna open up the browser, I'm gonna open up Google and well it manages to work. So yes, it does detect the mobile networks, so that is working just fine. Let's just leave it like that at the moment. Next, let us try Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Let's see if we can turn it on. People claim that they can detect devices, can get detected, can get paired and share files. Let's have a look at this. So let's go to wireless and networks. Let's start off by enabling Wi-Fi. Okay, it is on, but let's see if it will scan anything. So let me go to Wi-Fi settings. Okay, it managed to detect my network. I'm just gonna try to connect. And okay, as you can see, it managed to establish a connection with my router. First of all, I have typed in a wrong password and that is the reason why it couldn't connect. Now it is connected, so Wi-Fi is working, or at least it connects. Let's have a look at if we are able to browse the internet with this. So I'm just gonna visit the blog, for example. Yep, it is loading super fast, everything is working just fine, so Wi-Fi is working. Next, we're gonna test, gonna do a test on Bluetooth. So, at the moment, I actually don't have a device here to test with, but let's just see if it will turn on. Let's see if we have a MAC address for Bluetooth. Okay, it manages to turn on. As you can see from the icon also there are no toggles here in the notification screen as you can see anyways let me just head to about phone and let's see what we have in here so baseband version stays the same and everything else kernel is changed obviously the android version is 2.3.7 and the build number tutorial user debug gingerbread okay so as you can see in here nothing looks like touch with everything is this default pure gingerbread style We've got the black and white settings and colors, the context menu and everything else. As you can see, these are the basic settings we have here. Non-colored icons, the dialer, as you can see. Much different looking. Let me just do a test if I'm able to do calls. I'm just gonna call my customer service number. So the loudspeaker and calls are working just fine as you can see. That's very nice. Let's have a look at the camera for instance now. People claim that it is working. So yes, it can actually preview. As you can see, the camera here is working just fine. Let me switch to a video that is also working. So let's do a test if this can record videos. I have just started recording. So it does record videos. Let's see if it can play them. I have just started recording. So, yep, as you can see, it managed to record the video with audio as well. And now if you won't press on your home screen, you can see we have still the same settings here. If you go to wallpapers, then live wallpapers, you can see that we already have a few wallpapers here. So for instance, let us load this and let's just see how it will run. As you can see, live wallpapers are working. It is moving, keep changing figures. Let's have a look at wallpapers. So these are the default wallpapers which we get here. Everything here is working just fine. So as you can see notifications are also working, we are receiving them, the Play Store is also working. As you can see we only have Play Store included here, there is no Gmail, there is no Google Maps. You can now, you can install of those manually from the Play Store if you need them. You also have super users so this ROM comes pre-rooted, that's good. Then let's have a look at the, the music player for instance, let's have a look at this. So it appears to load the songs quite well without any problems. Let's just do a quick test. The song. 
okay works both landscape and portrait mode but you can kind of notice here how this button here goes off the screen so it needs some resizing I suppose other than that everything is working just fine and we can't end this video without testing a few games on it obviously if just to show people that this ROM can be used for gaming for this I have installed Duru Jump and Angry Birds so let's give it a try let's start up Angry Birds let's see how it loads how it performs and so on so it managed to start up for now the menus and everything else is loading just perfectly fine I have also noticed that this has very low, loud sound this ROM even when set to the lowest level I can still hear that the sound is very loud I have noticed that in the song and now here in the game anyways as you can see performance and loading on Angry Birds is just awesome so it can play games let's just give it one more try with Duru Jump so as you can see Duru Jump is also working just fine so as you can see after testing a few things on this ROM it is it is a pure gingerbread ROM which is cleaned, wiped out, out from all of the TouchWiz and Carrier Boardware apps. It is very light in size and as you can see the performance is also very good. There might be some little bugs left out out there and if you have noticed some, feel free to leave a comment in the blog post. I am willing to report them to the developers or if you already have an XDA developers account, feel free to post them on their XDA thread. That is all. Thank you for watching and goodbye.